Hi, I'm Farmer Amy from Fox Run Environmental Education Center, and today we are going to talk about turtles. So a quick reminder before we start, um, like and subscribe to our channel, and then you'll find out when we have uh, more videos and more stories. Uh, today we're talking about turtles, and we have a couple of turtles that are visiting us, and then after we read our story, we're going to watch Smash eat a worm. So, um, so this is one of the turtles in our wildlife rehabilitation center. So this turtle, kind of sad, this turtle was run over by a car and his shell was broken. And so what we've done is glue the shell and put, put this wire on to kind of hold it together while it's healing. And he doesn't like me uh, tipping him up like that. So, so we repair the shell and give that time to heal. Um, it's gotten later in the year. I'm filming this in November, so it's too cold now for him to be released. But in the spring, when he's all healed up, we'll kind of cut the wire back so it doesn't get caught on things and he will be able to go back to where he came from and uh, be released so we keep track of the people who bring in uh, turtles uh, that are injured because our goal is then to release them where they came from turtles have a homing instinct and that means they are always going to try to get back to their homes. And if we release a turtle, so if we pick up a turtle in the wild and we take it um, somewhere and then later release it, it's going to try to go back home and that's dangerous. Uh, the turtle might be walking on the road and not in safe places trying to get home. And so we want to release the turtle um, where the turtle came from. And so I hear somebody up there. Who is that? So do you see who's running around up there? So this is the turtle room and there's a big turtle tank behind me, which has our friend Smash and um, a couple of other turtles in it. And then above the turtles, because they like to be up high, we have a couple of baby squirrels and uh, one of them is running around saying, what are you doing? So uh, she's going to listen to the story too. Um, so also, isn't this cute? Um, well, we should say, isn't she cute? Ah, so this is a very young uh, box turtle. Um, only a couple of, uh, maybe two or three years old. And uh, so, um, the turtles come out of eggs. So uh, the mother turtle lays eggs in the ground and when the babies are ready, they hatch out of the eggs, kind of like chickens do. And so um, when a box turtle uh, hatches out of their egg, um, they, they have a shell and they have um, legs. If can, can you see the claws? on the young box turtle. So box turtles have claws so that they can dig and they dig so that they can find worms and insects and things in the ground. And they also in winter time, our turtles um, aren't brumating, but turtles brumate. So that is the word. Sometimes we use the term hibernation um, which is when mammals um, kind of take that long winter's nap and their body slows down so they can conserve energy. Uh, reptiles brumate. And so box turtles in the wintertime uh, dig down into the earth. And in Kentucky, they go about a foot down and um, so that the cold soil is at the top of the ground where the snow and ice is and they are warmer under the ground and they stay there during the winter. So, um, so he is um, awesome. Mm. 
so today we are going to read a Thanksgiving story uh, because as I'm making this video it is November so we're going to read Franklin's Thanksgiving by Paulette Bergeau and Brenda Clark you might have uh, seen Franklin on TV Franklin liked everything about Thanksgiving. He liked eating pumpkin fly pie and cranberry jelly. He liked making cornucopias and cornhusk dolls. But most of all, he liked having his grandma and grandpa come for dinner. It was a, the family tradition and Franklin could hardly wait. A week before Thanksgiving, a postcard arrived from Franklin's grandparents. Oh dear, sighed Franklin's mother. Grandma and Grandpa can't make it back for the holiday. But they have to, cried Franklin. They're always here for Thanksgiving. Franklin's mother gave him a big hug. There will still be the four of us, she said. It won't be the same, Franklin grumbled. Over the next few days, Franklin was so busy that he didn't have much time to think about Grandma and Grandpa. He helped his mother pick apples and made applesauce. He helped his father dig up vegetables and store them in the cellar. Franklin and Bear helped Harriet and Patrice pick berries and gather nuts. In the gardens and orchards, forests and fields, everyone was bringing in the harvest. Franklin counted all the jars of jams and preserves. I think this year was the most bountiful ever, announced his father. We could feed the whole town. I just wish we could feed Grandma and Grandpa, sighed Franklin. His mother agreed. We'll miss having the company. At school, Franklin made a harvest quilt and learned how the early settlers celebrated Thanksgiving. What are you doing for Thanksgiving, Mr. Owl? asked Franklin. I'll have dinner with my mother, he replied. Our relatives can't visit this year. Ours neither, said Franklin. Then he had an idea. He invited Mr. Owl and his mother for dinner. It's all right with my parents, Franklin explained. They want company. Well, thank you, Franklin, said Mr. Owl. We'd be delighted to come. Franklin smiled. This would be a wonderful surprise for his parents. I love the way all the woodland animals are in school, playing and learning and doing things. At home, Franklin's mother looked at the berry pies cooling on the windowsill. She had an idea. She walked over to Bear's house and invited the whole family for Thanksgiving. It will be a wonderful surprise for everyone, she explained. In the garden, Franklin's father waved to Mr. Mole. Are you going to your sister's for Thanksgiving, he asked. Not this year, replied Mr. Mole. With my broken ankle, I can't go far. Franklin's father had an idea. He invited Mr. Mole for dinner. It'll be a wonderful surprise for everyone, he said. After school, Franklin went home with Moose. That's when he had another idea. It was the Moose's first Thanksgiving in Woodland. Franklin invited them to dinner. It's all right with my parents, he explained. They want company. We'd be delighted, replied Mrs. Moose. Franklin smiled. His surprise was getting bigger and bigger. On Thanksgiving morning, Franklin got up early to help with dinner. He stirred soup and shucked corn, and then he set the table for nine. Franklin's father counted the place settings. He shook his head and reset the table for five. Franklin's mother looked at the table. She was puzzled, but she added three more place settings. And everyone took turns peeking out of the window, watching for the surprise Yes! So all of them think somebody different is coming to their dinner. 
Mr. Owl and his mother were the first to arrive. Surprise! shouted Franklin shouted to his parents. This is a surprise, they exclaimed. Then Franklin saw the Bear family and Mr. Mole. Now everyone was surprised. All the guests crowded inside holding platters and bowls heaped with food. Franklin and his parents laughed and tried to explain what had happened. Well, we sure have plenty to eat, declared Franklin's mother. We just don't have plenty of room. Franklin knew they had a big problem. The Moose family had not arrived yet. Franklin looked around. There wasn't one bit of room inside, but outside? Suddenly, Franklin knew what to do. What do you think they're going to do? What do you think, little squirrel? Moose and his family arrived as all the others came out of the door. Everyone carried dishes and food, tables and chairs. What's going on? asked Moose. We're eating our Thanksgiving dinner in the field, answered Bear, just like the early settlers. It was a wonderful afternoon. Everyone ate lots of good food and everyone said how thankful they were for good friends and family. Franklin was thankful for three helpings of pumpkin fly pie. I'm eating grandma and grandpa's share, he explained. Soon the sun was setting and it was time to go home. This was a wonderful day, said Franklin's mother. Franklin agreed. Let's do it again next year, he said. Everyone laughed and cheered. Grandma and Grandpa phoned later that night, and Franklin told them all about the new Thanksgiving tradition. They promised that next year they wouldn't miss it for anything. Franklin smiled. He might not get three helpings of pumpkin fly pie next year, but he knew he'd still be thankful. The end. So that was a great story. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all my animal friends and that I have people friends that help me take care of uh, the animals and help provide for them. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving this year. Um, I have another book that I just want to show you. Um, this is a book that Farmer Amy wrote about my friend Goober Goose. Goober is an animal that lives at Fox Run and he's fun and, and silly and uh, so I wrote a book about him and sometime we might read this story to Goober and uh, do a video of that. So the next thing we have for you to watch is a video of Smash having some lunch. So here we have Smash again. Smash uh, is uh, looking at that worm. Do you think he's going to get that worm? Smash is an eastern box turtle and box turtles are found in many parts of the United States of America and you kind of can see that Smash is turning his head in uh, an interesting way uh, and the earthworm is kind of running away from him. But Smash's uh, face was hit by a car and his beak, turtles have beaks just like birds, and his beak um, was broken and so uh, he doesn't have full mobility in his uh, beak in his mouth and so he does kind of turn his head when he is eating. Uh, so for breakfast this morning uh, Smash uh, has a couple of juicy worms and he also has some canned box turtle food. Uh, that food uh, contains uh, corn and carrots and uh, um, and it smells pretty good. Oh, Smash, you had your worm and then you lost it. Um, here, well, he's trying. 
Sometimes poor Smash has a hard time grabbing onto things, but he does often get his worm. So he likes worms. Other things that we feed the box turtles are uh, blueberries and strawberries. They like both of those very much. Uh, pieces of apple, uh, greens, lettuce, and kale, and collards are all things that the box turtles uh, like to eat. So right now Smash is in the inside enclosure. Uh, it's late October and Smash has uh, come in for the winter as well as he has a couple of friends in here. So uh, that turtle right there who is kind of hiding, um, that is Braveheart. And poor Braveheart, if he kind of looks like he's sitting on his bottom, Braveheart only has two legs. And so it's more difficult for him to get around. He's also very, very shy. Oh, check out Smash. So Smash has his worm. Are you going to bring a worm to Braveheart Smash? That would be very nice. Or did you want to sit up on your stone and eat? You're carrying your worm around. And then we also have one more friend in the back. And that is a rehabilitation turtle uh, that uh, wasn't quite ready to be released yet. And so is just wintering over. Um, this tank is uh, 250 gallons and we have another tank that's 250 gallons and we um, have uh, some other box turtles in, in that tank and we'll check them out as well. Good job Smash! He's getting those worms. <laughs>